And the reason why I plug in majority of the cables for a modular power supply on a customer build is because when they bring it back to me and they ever ask me to do an upgrade, etc. Let's say we have to install a bigger graphics card and it requires two PCIe cables and I didn't plug the cables in and they didn't save the cables. Well, now we're looking at a new power supply scenario or trying to source those power supply cables. So to make sure or ensure that the cables don't disappear from customers, I usually plug all the cables into a modular power supply. As dumb as that may sound, it saves a lot of people trouble down the road. So that is generally why I do it last, is so I don't have this big bulge of cables on the backside so I can lay it flat and I'm not crushing anything with the cables or I'm not crushing the cables or the connections with the case. I try to avoid that if I can. So usually the power supplies last in this scenario.